Well, hi, this is Custom Works, and I'm Clint Allen. And today we're going to be talking about the cam position sensor. We're going to go through, give you a quick overview, the types, PO codes, testing, and what do they look like inside? Well, can't wait for that, huh? The uh, cam position sensor in the 7.3 is a Hall effect sensor. So it's located in the front of the engine on the timing cover, uh, just above the damper at about the 11 o'clock position. And the it generates basically a digital frequency to the PCM. So as the cam uh, is turning and it's going past it's basically going bloop 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 like that and it's telling the PCM basically how fast the engine is turning it's uh, telling the RPM uh, the position of the pistons and it's working with all the other sensors involved so it uh, gives the best possible running uh, the cam wheel has 24 windows basically built into it. Uh, these windows have the little gaps, and those little gaps basically is what that sensor sees. And then it tells the PCM, and it positions, of course, everything that I just previously discussed. Now, on the cylinder 1 and 4 in that cam, it has a little bit smaller and a little bit larger hole and that way the PCM knows okay this is exactly where I'm at so of course you have the IDM firing the injectors and you have everything going on inside the engine makes that little cam sensor pretty darn important uh, the PCM then uh, determines the exact rotation of the engine uh, based on the firing of a 7.3, which is 1, 2, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. So let's take a look here. Um, I pulled uh, information off of a previous video to give you a little bit more in depth of what uh, I am trying to tell you here. Uh, first, PO codes. Now, the 7.3 is known sometimes not to log codes when there's a problem, but overall you should have a PO340, a PO341, or a PO344. But let's take a look at this here. Now I know once again I'm talking to a lot of experienced individuals, but keep in mind once again that uh, there's some coming here for the first time and before I forget, First timers, come on in, join the community. I've made it real easy for everybody to find my videos. You just go down into the description. After you're finished with this, you'll find a full playlist of all of our sensor videos that are almost finished. Every sensor that's on a 7.3. You'll have our tech talks for 2022 and 2023. You'll have other interesting videos and some controversial ones. So head down into the description. Real easy, you'll be able to find everything. So right here is what this cam sensor needs to be up against. So as the engine turns, it's reading. Every time it goes past one of these notches right here, and when it goes past that notch, it's telling the computer information, how it runs, how it drives, adjusting components and sensors within the vehicle. So it's really, really critical that this is sitting in the hole of the timing cover. And once again, not kittywampus, crooked, or anything like that. Otherwise, you end up with a situation that looks like this. come in three different flavors and we'll be covering that in the future so there we go that is what is going on so if you're new you're fresh and you never seen it and you didn't understand the cam sensor you didn't understand what was going on inside now you do now we're gonna come to 
cam sensors, the different cam sensors. Uh, there's three cam sensors out on the market that you are going to be looking at. In actuality, there are five. Count them, five. So you're going to have the original black one. We're going to have the upgraded gray one. Then we're going to have the early model OBS upgraded blue one. And then we have a upgraded, upgraded universal dark gray kind of bluish one. And believe it or not, there's also one that is completely made different by International. So we're going to circle around towards the end of the video on exactly which one you should choose. Um, either which way, a lot of them to choose from, and it's going to depend on transmission. I've tested all of them, and it comes down to transmission and model year of basically which one works the best for what I have tested. So moving on to the next is going to be the testing. What are the wires? How do we test it? How do we know it's working? Beyond the fact of using a scanner, beyond the fact of pulling codes, beyond the fact of using like Forescan. How can we physically go out into our driveway and test this to see if it's working? And what are the wires doing? So that is next. Here's your wire diagram and what you'll see is pin A is your ground. Pin B is going to be your 5 volt reference. And pin C is going to be your 12 volt reference. And this is how we're going to test. Get out your regular 12 volt tester, set it on number 20. And you'll see pin is at 12 volts. This is key on and engine off. The next pin is going to be 5 volts. Now plug in your cam sensor and this is how we're going to determine if the cam sensor is good. Hook up your ground and your 5 volt reference. So that's going to be pin A and pin B. You're going to get your reference signal right there with key on, engine off, cam sensor plugged in. And now you'll be able to see if it works. If we take a metal object and place it up against the end of that cam sensor, you're pretty much assured that that cam sensor is working. So there you go. 5 volt reference, zero reference. 5 volt reference, zero reference. So basic testing for the average Joe, the average Jane, that's how you do it right there. That, that's a quick way to determine before you start firing the parts cannon at your truck if you have a good, proper working cam sensor and the way to test it. Obviously, if you got four scan or you've got auto ingenuity or the D8 scan tools, um, just by hooking it up and seeing if you've got RPM. If you got an RPM reading, then you basically have a good cam sensor. Beyond that, uh, you know, what, what one is the best for my truck? The F70Z12K073B. That is that basic gray universal that was the first uh, new gen after they had problems with the first original one the first original black one uh, that one right there works but when you need to do cylinder tests uh, certain other tests what you'll find is that you'll end up getting false information just because of that sensor the best universal sensor for all years is going to be the F4TZ12K073C. 
That is the best overall working cam sensor, longest lasting, and it really works best in the manual transmission. Now it'll work on your automatic, don't get me wrong, but you'll get the best performance out of that cam sensor for manual transmission. For the automatic, um, you'll find that there's a just a slight difference in fuel mileage if you go with the International 1876735C91. You'll get just a little bit finer, a little bit better miles per gallon. Um, this is what I found in my testing. So it, it just was one mile per gallon consistent better compared to the previous one. So what's inside? <laughs> well, let's take a look. So here's our earlier model that I cut in half. Then here's a basic, the basic universal gray one. And then you can see how substantially different. This is an international unit. How substantially different that is. And I'll take pictures of these two just in case I'm kind of getting a black line in here. I don't know if that's going to show up in the video. So there we go everything you need to know about that cam sensor the overview the types the PO codes testing what's inside pretty cool huh and as usual I hope you've learned something today and you take it easy and you have a good day